No? I cannot seem to remember how we started this series. Do you remember? It seems like so long ago. I said it's first and foremost a piece of poetry. Did you have that friend back in high school who said, listen to the words, man? He was right. The words are the most important part of an art song. So, to quote a noted 21st century philosopher, theologian, and teacher, words are, in my not-so-humble opinion, our most inexhaustible form of magic, capable both of inflicting damage and remedying it. I don't think we give weight to the words as much as we used to. Although we used to say, sticks and stones can break my bones, words will never hurt me. Boy, is that a load. <laughs> it's absolutely not true. You know, a pinch or a thump is one thing, but a well-placed insult can last for years. Words have great power. That's why we say the pen is mightier than the sword. And of course, Robert Louis Stevenson, being the poet that he was, knew this. And this second-to-last poem of this set uh, really sort of wraps everything up in a nice ball, letting you know where uh, the poet stood on the importance of words and how they can uh, create memory and give us all sorts of wonderful human emotions. Bright is the ring of words when the right man rings them. Fair the fall of songs when the singer sings them. Still they are caroled and said, on wings they are carried, after the singer is dead and the maker is buried. Low as the singer lies in the field of heather, songs of his fashion bring the swains together. And when the west is red with the sunset embers, the lover lingers and sings, and the maid remembers. Bright is the ring of words when the right man rings them. Fill the fall of songs when the singer sings them. said, on wings they are carried, after the singer is dead, and the maker buried, low as the singer lies in the field of heaven. Bring the swains together, and when the west is red with the sunset embers, the lover lingers and sings. And the maid remembers.